What's going on, Clash Precious? Rocky here today, and today we're back on our tier list, and we're going to be making some revisions. We're going to be talking about the tier list, and we're also going to be adding in those spells and siege machines, which is today's comment question of the day. Coming from Moss, will you be doing a spell ranking? Yes, Moss, that is today. I kind of had this planned all along. I kind of wanted to see some of your feedback. I didn't actually plan on doing revisions. I'm not going to lie there, but based on some of the negative female and some of the points that were made, I feel like some revisions are necessary. So what I'm going to kind of base this on is... The overall usefulness for the troop in an army, not by itself, which is where I kind of, uh, you know, I said the minions by themselves were kind of trash. And honestly, I, uh, you know, I didn't want like no F troop, uh, no F class troops because that would make no sense. But at the same time, minions are, do have their place. Wall breakers do have their place. And a lot of people seem to get mad. It seemed like Valkyries really got people triggered. Wall breakers got people triggered and E drags got people triggered. So we're going to talk about those. We're going to possibly re-rank those. And also I wanted to make a quick note. There's no E class just because it's more visually appear appealing. So I kind of went with the U S school grading system of A, B, C, D, F. There's no E in there. And then S being the God tier class, just because, you know, six tiers is just kind of more visually appealing. So it not, everything's so tiny so let's talk about this the overall usefulness of a troop minions are useful i mean even in war we have minions you know thrown in for cleanup they they're used with balloons or lalo for cleanup they're used in lunian as a straight up army so i kind of agree with you guys minions probably don't deserve an f class they are somewhat useful they're not you know anything crazy but they're somewhat useful so we'll move the we'll move the minions up to an F or a D class from F. I agree with that. And same with wall breakers. Uh, yes, wall breakers only have one purpose of breaking walls. But at those lower town halls, you you need the wall breakers. With that being said, we gotta move something down to F. And unfortunately, it's gonna be the barbs. Barbs are really not that great. You know, they just come in. They're good with like barch. They're just not great. The only real great thing about the barbs is when the king spawns a bunch of them. And, you know, that's not even that incredible. Uh, so archers are kind of in the same boat, except for archers are a little bit more useful. But archers, if we're moving minions to D, archers and minions are kind of on the same page there as far as cleanup and usefulness. So archers got to go down to a D class. Now that brings us to the Valkyries. A lot of people were like, oh my god, Valkyries a D? This, is, uh, this one was heavily biased, I won't lie. I... Don't use Valks, but I do use them. Someone commented this. I, I couldn't find the comment or else I would put it up on the screen. Valkyries in a siege machine are absolutely beautiful, and that is so, so true. 10, 11, 12. Valks in a siege machine is beautiful. We'll move the Valks up to a C grade. I almost want to move the Golems up to a C. But, man, in the current meta, Golems have kind of fell off a little bit, but at the lower town halls, we kind of need them. So we're going to go ahead We'll move the golems up to a C a little bit. So a little bit of readjusting there. Now the big, big thing here, hogs and E-drags. You guys were not happy with the hogs and E-drags. Even a few people weren't happy with the lava hounds. I'm sticking with the lava hounds. Uh, you can fight me in the parking lot. I'm sticking with the lava hounds. Now E-drags, uh, they do have usefulness. You could push you could push to 62, 63, 6400 with only E-drags. E-drags, you could just spam them in war. And I think that's why I gave them a B grade because I just think of E-drag spammers and I'm like, ugh, that's just sketchy. So I will give you E-drag guys a bone. I will move the E-drags up to A and we'll kind of go from there. But I also, I want to move the Warden up to S class because the Warden is a difference maker in any attack. He is just so powerful, so strong. I'm still going to keep the hogs at B just because uh, you you need something. Like, so much can go wrong with the hogs. If you don't get a good kill squad or if you don't get a good queen walk, queen charge, hogs can be kind of sketchy. Uh, They're great at 7, 8, 9, 10. But they can also go wrong really fast with them targeting defenses. It just... I love hogs. Probably my favorite troop in the game, if not balloons, where the balloons S class are super biased by me. But I just personally can't move them above a B. Now, you guys said healers. If we're going overall usefulness, healers have to be A. Drags in the current meta, I think, stay at A. Just because 7, 8, 9, not so much. 10, 11, 12, you see a ton of drags. Pekka might even be borderline S class right now, to be honest, guys. But we're going to keep Pekka's down there A class. Miners. You guys want miners S class. I know you guys do. And I kind of, oh, the more I think about it, I kind of agree. If we got loons up there, we got bowlers up there. Loons are a really skilled attack. I feel like miners, 
just based on their farming. Like, they're so strong at farming. They're so great if you know how to use them in war. I'll give Miners S-Class. I'll throw you guys a bone. So, we're going to keep the king down there to B. Uh, just because, I don't know, king by himself is great, but I don't know. I, like he, King is probably like right here. Probably like a B plus, you know? We're going to keep him at a B. We don't need... It, it's sketchy. Let's get into the spells and everything else. Hopefully you guys are okay with this ranking. I Like I said, I heard you guys out. Uh, even a few other things could be moved around. Giants could possibly be moved up. Dragons could possibly move to be down. But I'm going to stand by my rankings here. Hopefully we're okay. And again, guys, this is my opinion. I listened to some of your guys' comments. Don't get mad at me. You know, it's it's uh, this is an opinion thing. So don't get mad at me too much. Now, let's get into the spells. Right now, lightning spells are pretty trash. You use them at like Town Hall 8 for Zap Quakes. Uh, sometimes Town Hall 7, you got to use three lightning spells. But that's about it. There's really not much use for a lightning spell. And honestly, they're going F. They're going straight off F for me, guys. They're just not, right now in the current game, there's not much use for a lightning spell. People aren't using them. From what I've seen, people don't use them in the higher town halls. Seven and eight, yes, but, I mean, I guess town hall five, we, we used them because that's the only spell you get. But I, I can't go above an F on those. Heal spells. Heal spells are incredible. They work out uh, with those minor attacks, you know, with your hoggy attacks, with... Even something like your P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bats, you know, you throw them in there with the bowlers. The heal spell is a really, really great spell. It's really versatile. It helps out quite a bit. I mean, I even use it with my Lunian. I think we got to go, I don't know that it's God tier, but it's pretty close. It's We're going to give it an A grade just because it's a really useful spell. It's versatile in almost any army. It, I almost want to, like, it's, it's literally probably A plus for me, guys. It's right on the borderline of being God tier. You know, I have a hard time. Just throwing everything up gods here. But we're, we're going to go A-class. Rage spell, however. Oops, I lost the rage spell. <laughs> rage spell, however. Rage spell is going to be gods here. You can use this thing everywhere for everything. It's an incredible spell. Probably the most used spell. Almost every single army uses it with the exception of like the bat slap attacks. Where sometimes they don't use a rage. But, I mean, I've used one rage at least. Rages are almost in every single attack in the game, and they have to be rated as an S class. I don't, you're not changing my mind on that one. Sorry. Jump spells, jump spells are interesting. Jump spells get a lot of play. Uh, usually, if you're going with a ground attack, not always, but usually you're going to have at least one jump spell in there. I mean, right now, I think, especially at the lower town halls, 9, 10, 12, 11, jump spells come in handy. Even with the siege machines, you're going to need those for ground attacks, and they're going to come in really useful. I don't know if they're as versatile as the heals. I think I'm going to grade spells a little bit harder. We're going to put the jump as a B just because, uh, you know, it's limited to ground attacks and not every single ground attack uses it, you know? Three spells right now in the current meta of Clash of Clans, three spells are definitely an S-class spell. They are being used everywhere. They're so helpful. They can freeze a single Inferno. They can freeze a Wizard Tower so bats can move through it or uh, witches can just keep going. Freeze spells are so, so versatile right now in the game from Town Hall 9 up, and they are just incredible. They're not too expensive. They take up one housing space. The fix on the freeze spells made them, in my opinion, a god tier spell. And, man, I feel like we should have more stuff lower, but eh, we don't. Clone spell, okay. So clone does have a few uses. We see, uh, you know, occasionally a clone spell thrown in with balloons. Or even like an Electron attack. But that's about it. With it being a 3 housing space spell also. I don't think it's quite an F. Because it does have some play. It does have some usefulness. But I think this one's going to be a D. It's just not quite... The 3 housing space really kills it for me. It's good. But it's not like over the top good. It's really situational. I think it's. I think D works for that. Poison spell however. Poison spells are used probably in almost every attack for, for war. Uh, with the exception of like the, the bat slap attack going around right now. For farming, poison spells come in and help you out quite a bit. For pushing, you need poison spells. Poison spell has to be S, S class. You need it quite a bit. It's one housing space. It's relatively cheap. I think that poison is... It's got to go S class, right? I mean, you need it for everything. It's, it's an incredible spell in the game. Earthquakes. Oh, earthquakes. Earthquakes have fell from glory so, so much. Uh, they used to get some play with Zapquake. They used to get some play with Quadquake. Uh, you know, to open up walls at Town Hall 9, but Jump has kind of, you know, trumped that out of there and made that not a thing. You know, the Jump spells right there. As it stands right now, 
I think the earthquakes. I think earthquakes are an F F class spell. People were using them there for a while to activate town halls at town hall twelve, but uh, I think people have gotten pretty used to how town hall twelve functions, and it's got to go F. It just doesn't see much play. Next up, we have the haste spell. Now, haste spell. If you're using a balloon attack, you're gonna need haste spells. That's just the way it goes. However, it is really limited to just balloon attacks. You're not really gonna haste up some bowlers or some miners. You know, even dragons. You know, it just doesn't really come in as really for those balloon attacks. And for this, you know, it, it's really strong. It's really helpful. It's one housing space, but. Outside of balloon attacks, I mean, this one might even be a D grade, honestly, guys. It's just, it's right here at the borderline. With balloons being so good, though, uh, with farming and everything, we're going to go with a C for haste. It's it's right there. But we'll go with the C for haste. Might even be a C minus D plus type situation. Next up, we have the skeleton spell. Oh, guys. Skeleton spells never really took off. They just, they get hit by too much. They get taken out by... Uh, Cannons, mortars, wizard towers, they get just taken out way too easily. Skeleton spells, sometimes we'll see some play with like a loon attack, but not often. And I'm not seeing them being used a ton. So this is going to rank them as an F class spell for me, guys. Bat spells, oh my goodness. Bat spells are absolutely nutty right now. However, they are a little bit weak. If you're a little bit off on your timing on your freeze spells, they are relying on the freeze spells. The bats uh, can be useless. I've seen multiple attacks where you waste 9, 10, even 11 spots worth of spells between your freezes and your bats, and you get out four buildings. So bats are really, really powerful. I mean, they're running a meta on their own right now. However, it is a lot of timing based on those bats. They need a lot of help as they're in there as well. But if you get that thing down and get it just right, it's almost like miners. The, the bats are going to be crazy. Uh, just because they're so, they can be unlucky, you know, if they hit an air mine or if a wizard tower gets one shot on them, can take them out. I really want to give these guys an S, but I don't think we need four S class spells. I think we're going to give them an A. I think that they're super strong. They're literally running their own meta with the bat slap, the peck bow bat, drag bat, lalo bat. Bats are really strong, but they're just a little bit flawed. I kind of want them as an S, but I don't think so. Let's get into the siege machines, guys. We got three siege machines. We got the battle blimp. Battle blimps, uh, they used to see a lot of play until that old, the old stone slammer came in. But the battle blimps right now, you'll see them for like Electron. You'll see them sometimes for like a town hall dive. They're, they're still getting a little bit of play here and there, but they've really fell from their former glory. And they're just really not where they used to be. They're still good. They're still useful. But I think there's better options. And we're going to put them down there as a C. They're not horrible. It's not like they're bad. It's just they don't get used a ton right now. And that's why we're going to rank them as a C grade. Next up, we have the Wall Wrecker. Wall Wrecker's in the current meta with the Bow Bats, the Pekka Bow Bats, the Pekka Smashes, the Bat Slaps, any, uh, like, you know, Witch Slap uh, type attack, style attack, or even a Bow Witch style attack. You're going to have a wall wrecker in there. Wall wrecker is so strong. Getting through walls. They even take out buildings. I've even seen wall wreckers take out queens. Uh, I love the wall wrecker. Maybe my favorite siege machine. And we got to give them the S tier. Stone slammers. Our final grade of the day. Stone slammers are pretty good. Uh, they come in useful. But they're kind of like right here with the blimps. They're, they're useful. But they're not used as much. And the current meta. I, I just see a ton of wall wreckers. I mean maybe that's just. You know what i use personally and see like in my clans but i would kind of put the stone slammer like a b plus a minus uh just because it, it can do some really strong things i mean especially at town hall 10 i've seen a stone slammer single-handedly win a raid on the back end so you know i i'm between the b and the a on it and i really can't couldn't make up my mind so we're gonna go b for the stone slammer it, it could probably probably go up to an a i don't think it's any near it's close you know I don't think it's anywhere near an S class, but it's right between A and B, and we're going to go f settle on B on it. So here is our final full Clash of Clans troop spell siege machine tier list. Let me see if anything really, you know, turns me off, makes me disagree. I kind of like the wizards at B. Valks, I, I still see, think people are going to want Valks higher, but I, I, I like the Valks at C. Ice Golem, Golem kind of there. I mean, we could even go archers a little bit lower, but they do have some usefulness in war. I'm sorry, guys. I'll never give my gobbies an F. I, I love my goblins too much. 
I don't know. I think this is pretty fair. I mean, again, my personal opinions. Don't attack me. Don't kill me in the comment section. Uh, but I, I feel like this is good. I mean, I'm just trying to look through here. Witches could possibly go up to S. I mean, they're probably like A plus right on the borderline there. I know some of the E drag spammers are going to want E drags up. Pekka's can be argued to go up. Healers could be argued to go up. But I'm pretty happy with my tier list right here. My full Clash of Clans tier list right now. I'm just double checking. I mean, it's really hard for me not to put the king as an A just because he's so strong. Uh, that that might be the one change I would make. Move the king to an A, but we're going to keep him. Just because he's so strong is why I would move him to an A, but we're going to keep him as a B for the time being. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Let me know in the comments. What would you guys put the king at? I'm sure you guys are going to let me know where you, where you would put everything else. Uh, I could argue giants definitely could go higher, but I, I kind of like this. I'm kind of happy with this. I'm... I'm pretty content. Nothing. I, miners, I'm still. I, I can still see moving miners down personally. I don't know. I like it, guys. I like it. Free spell could be argued to move down. Bat spell could be mar argued to move up. Even heal spell could be move, argued to move up. But, uh I'm loving it. I'm loving it a lot, guys. I like this tier ranking. And that's where we're going to settle. Now, I'm, I'm thinking about having a, a guest on, possibly Echo. And talking about this tier list and moving things around based on our discussions. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would want to see something like that. Maybe even get a couple people on and have like a, an analysis of the tier list. And see if you guys uh, agree, disagree with us as a group. I don't know. Just kind of thinking out loud here. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. The full Clash of Clans tier list. I think we might do. I got ideas. I, we might do like a defensive unit tier list. Like the defensive buildings, Archer Towers, Cannons. Don't tell anyone, but I think that one could be really sick. Uh, ranking all of those, that's going to be a pain in the butt cutting those out, though, like the, the pitchers. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully, you don't kill me too much in the comments this time. Uh, I, I read the comments a ton. You know, I take pride in connecting with my community, and I see you guys. So, uh, thank you guys so much for your feedback. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys watch this full video, slap a like on it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.